In this webcast, we will provide some detail around the Anchor Rescue Anchor Retrieval device and how it works. Anchor Rescue is made up of three parts, the retriever, the slider, and the tether. The slider and tether remain on your anchor at all times. When your anchor becomes fouled, the retriever is placed on the anchor road and lowered to the slider. It is important to note that the retriever and slider in no way interfere or compromise the anchor road connection. Once the retriever and slider are connected, pulling on the retrieval line transfers the pull to the crown of the anchor and it can be backed out of the obstruction. After being freed, the anchor can be raised in the usual manner with the anchor road. The slider and tether remain on your anchor at all times. The slider is a collar that sits on the road above the anchor shackle. The tether connects the slider to the trip point at the crown of the anchor. A shackle is provided for attaching the tether to the crown. The retriever is stored on the boat until needed. The only moving parts are the two spring-loaded pins that capture and hold the slider. The retriever is hinged and is simply closed around the anchor road at the bow and locked with a locking pin. The locking pin has a lanyard attached for easy removal of the pin after a retrieval. Capturing the slider is a straightforward process. As the retriever lowers onto the slider, the spring-loaded capture pins first retract and then extend into the groove in the slider. Once the pins are in the groove, the slider is effectively trapped. Let's take one last look. Anchor Rescue is the only fouled anchor retrieval system that does not jeopardize the safety of you or your boat. With Anchor Rescue, your anchor road connection is never compromised. In fact, your anchor can be redeployed at any time during the retrieval process. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the advantages of Anchor Rescue Anchor Retrieval System.